Hello and God bless you. Uh, this is Naftali, and I just want to welcome you to another video. I want to thank each and every one of you for being so awesome. Um, so far, the message board is going pretty decent. It's going to be a working process. It might take six months, a year, for you to build up a base on there. But this Saturday, hopefully, we'll be putting on together our first church service online. Um, we're looking to maybe put it on at 2 p.m. at tallyforgod.com in our Bible study room. Even if no one shows up, I'm going to be there. <laughs> and I'll be praising God by myself. Um, but if someone does show up, that'll be pretty nice. Um, but little by little. Little by little, it's going to grow. And little by little, we're going to make sure this gets happening. Um, today, we want to talk about forgiveness. And forgiveness is something that we don't see nowadays. Um, many times as Christians we forget Ephesians 2 8 through 9 for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourselves it is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast yet in the body of Christ sometimes we see a lot of Christians who show very little forgiveness towards others they hold others to such a high esteem that they can't forgive Many times we forget who we were in the world. Many times we forget how many cuss words we used to say. Many times we forget how many lies we used to say. Many times we forget how many times in our bedrooms the devil tempted us and we fell under that sexual temptation. Maybe you've forgotten that today. Maybe you've forgotten who you were when you were in the world. Maybe you've forgotten that when you were in the world, everyone criticized you. No one was for you, but one saved you, and that was Jesus. Maybe you've forgotten the times that you were in your bedroom, crying yourself to sleep because you didn't have peace in your life. Remember who forgave you? That was Jesus. Whenever you were at that point in your life where you were worth absolutely nothing, there was one who forgave you. There was one who said, Tally, I love you in your mind. Shaka now, I love you, you're mine. Christopher L, I love you, my son, you're mine. Yoka, I love you. I'm going to save you and I'm going to use you. Waiting for Christ, I'm calling you, I love you. You see, a lot of us here on YouTube, we've... It's, it's... When you come to YouTube, you don't expect it, but little by little, you start growing this, like, defensive mechanism where it's hard for you to forgive. But today I urge you today to drop that defense level. To understand that Matthew 6, 14 through 15, which it says, For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sin, your Father will not forgive your sins. I want you to think about that. Whenever you start nitpicking on someone, Whenever you start just thinking negative thoughts about someone, I want you to print out Matthew 6, 14 through 15. I want you to make yourself a little bulletin card. And I want you to put it on top of your monitor. And whenever the temptation of gossip comes, whenever the temptation of criticism comes, I want you to remember who forgave you. And he who showed mercy on you and is asking you today to also show mercy on others. Because if he lifted you up from the garbage you were, if he picked you up, transformed you, made you brand new, who are you not to forgive them? And you know what? Sometimes it takes time. But the process, it's for you to leave it up to Christ. Submit yourself unto Christ, and Christ is going to heal your wounds. May God bless you very, very much. I appreciate every single one of you. I love every single one of you. And remember, at www.tallyforgod.com, we have 24-7 online worship there. You can interact with fellow believers. And this Saturday, hopefully, at 2 p.m., we'll have our first church service. So I'll keep you posted, okay? May God bless you. Amen.